For the first method, head over to search and then type in File Explorer. Click on it. Once you're on it, you want to head over to this PC. Then you want to right click on the drive which Windows is installed on. So for me, it's my C drive. So right click and then click on Properties. And then we're going to head over into Details. Once we're on it, we're going to head over into Temporary Files. And then we're going to clear all of these temporary files. If you're using Windows 10, it might say disk cleanup for you instead of details. So just click on disk cleanup and just follow all of the steps, clear all of the temporary files. You can also do this method for any other drives that you may have. For the second method, head over to search and then type in run, click on it, and then type in percent temp percent, click on enter. Once we're on it, we're gonna clear all of these files. So you can either highlight it or you could just click and then click on control A on your keyboard and then click on delete. You might get something like this. Just click on do this for all current items and click on skip. Some files can't be deleted, but you deleted a lot of files. So once you delete all these files, you want to clear your recycle bin. So just go to the recycle bin, right click, empty recycle bin and click on yes. For the third method, head over to search and then type in check for updates. Click on it. And then if you have any updates, just do all the updates. You want to be on the latest version of Windows. For the fourth method, head over to search and then type in task manager. Click on it. Once we're on it, we're going to head over to startup apps. Then you want to disable any app that you don't need because all these apps are going to start up when you turn on your computer. So for example, I'm going to turn off Logitech G Hub because I don't need it when I start my computer. So I'm going to click on it and click on disable. For the next method, head over to search and then type in view advanced system settings. Once we're on it, we click on performance settings and then you can choose adjust for best performance and then click on OK. For the sixth method, make sure that everything is up to date. All your applications, all your graphics drivers, all your drivers for everything. So for me personally, I use a GTX graphics card, so I use GeForce Experience, and I'll head over to check for updates. I've got no updates right now, but you need to make sure that everything is updated. For the next method, head over to search and then type in edit power plan. Click on it. And then click on power options right here. If you're on a desktop computer, you wanna click on high performance. You might not have it, so click on the tick and click on high performance. If you're on a laptop, click on high performance only when your laptop is plugged in. So if your laptop is not charging, then click on balanced. Also, if you still can't see high performance, head over to create a power plan and then you might have it here. But if you don't, then just go back to balance. For the next method, head over to search and then type in CMD and then we're going to run it as administrator. Click on yes. Once you're on it, you want to type WMIC. Click on enter and then you want to type in disk drive space get space status and then click on enter if it all says okay then your drivers are perfectly fine if it says anything other than okay then you probably want to replace it for the next method head over to search and then type in turn on storage sense here it is and then you want to click on storage sense and then you want to make sure that this is turned on and just click on run storage sense now this will clear your temporary files for the next method, head over to search and then type in notifications and actions. Here it is, click on it. And then we could just turn off all of these notifications. So click on the additional settings and then you could take off get tips and suggestions when using Windows because you probably already know a lot about Windows ready. So you could just turn that off. And then you can also turn off all of these other app notifications if you don't need it. And then if you want to go one step further, you can actually turn off all the notifications. For the next method, head over to search and then type in virus and threat protection. Click on it. And then click on scan options. And then we're going to do a full scan and a Microsoft Defender offline scan. So click on it and then click on scan now. Make sure that you do it for both of them. After you do those two scans and everything comes out okay, you wanna head over to Google, type in malware bytes, and then go to the first link, and then you wanna just get the free download. And then you wanna scan your computer with malware bytes. If all of this has not made a change, then unfortunately, you probably just have to upgrade your computer or your laptop. I used to have a very bad computer and I tried all the tips that you can think of, but my computer just wasn't up to par of the latest games and was very outdated, so I was forced to upgrade. I'm just being honest with you guys, I wanna help you guys out. So if nothing works, then just upgrade.